Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I seal my paper stickers to use in resin. Um, you have to seal paper stickers before you put in resin um, to avoid the resin staining the stickers. If you don't seal them properly, you'll end up with these stains that kind of look like wet spots and it's very unappealing. And it's very frustrating when you find out your, your sticker is ruined after you work so hard on your, your pieces. So um, I pretty much experimented with all the known methods out there and I honestly don't like them because they're not consistent enough. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, like the most common method is to brush the Mod Podge right on the sticker, front and back. Um, that method, like I said, it's not consistent enough for me. Like if you leave a small, like if you uh, miss a spot, you know, your sticker is ruined. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of experimentation and see what works, see, um, what doesn't work. And I came up with this method. And um, I hope this video will be helpful for a lot of you. Um, I know some people use packaging tape instead of sealants. Um, which works great, but in my opinion, for me, I don't like the look of it because it leaves a border around the sticker that you can really see it in the resin, like a shiny border, which I think it looks pretty unappealing. So um, I don't really use that method. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, I hope this video will be helpful for a lot of you. Um, like I said, this is how I do it, so enjoy. Okay, so you will need some kind of clear plastic, like this one. Um, this was a part of a packaging from some kind of electronic supply that I bought. Um, I can't remember exactly, but you want it completely clear like this and thin enough or thick enough for you to be able to cut with scissors. So you can actually use those clear um, to-go boxes that you get from you know restaurants or cafes. You can use those. So as long as they're clear and easy to cut, um, you're good to go. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut a small piece for, um, for me to be able to put a sticker on. So I'll be right back. So I already put the sticker on the piece of plastic that I cut. And you want to make sure that you're not getting any um, air bubbles trapped underneath the sticker. Um, so it should be nice and smooth like this. Okay, now the next step is um, the Mod Podge. So, um, like I have right here. Mod Podge. So I'm going to actually brush the Mod Podge onto the sticker. So it's, I'm going to cover the entire sticker. You want to make sure you're getting the edges. Don't put too much or else it's you're going to have like um like cloudy cloudy parts, I guess, from the Mod Podge. So as you can see, I'm going all the way to the edges. And then try to smooth it out. So I did actually two coats of Mod Podge um, just to make sure all the, the edges were completely sealed with Mod Podge. So now the next step is I'm going to cut the plastic leaving a border around the sticker. So I'm just going to take my scissors and go ahead and do that. So this is what it should look like. Um, like I said, I did leave a border around the sticker. So now moving on to the next step. Okay, now I'm outside um, because for this final step, you will need to be outside. So um, the next step, I'm going to seal the sticker with um, this spray gloss glaze. You can use any brand you wish. Um, I'm just using this one because this is what I have. And you will also need a, a surface. like. I don't know, I'm just using a used Priority Mail shipping box and um, obviously you'll need the sticker that you're going to be sealing. And I actually rolled 
a piece of uh, masking tape to put it on the box so I can secure the sticker, like so. And um, then basically I'm just going to take my spray and spray the sticker. So um, like I said, you have to take this outside because um, the fume is pretty strong. Oops. Like that. Now, um, I usually do like two or three coats of this and you have to let the glaze dry completely before, um, you know, in between layers. So, yep. So this is what the finished product looks like. It's shiny. And the awesome thing about using the plastic is that you don't have to worry about the, um, the sticker floating when you put it in the resin. Um, also, you can actually skip the Mod Podge step if, you, if your sticker has a little bit of a, um, a laminate coating. Um, like this sticker did not have any coating, so I did have to um, seal it with Mod Podge before the sealant spray because the sealant spray will stain um, paper stickers that are not coated with some kind of laminate. Um, the only sticker that you don't have to seal is if it's made out of plastic or the, the holographic um, foil stickers. You don't have to seal those, only paper stickers. Even if, you, if it looks like it's completely laminated, um, the edges still can be stained with stick uh, with the resin so it's very important to seal seal them properly now if you were wondering if the the plastic will show in the resin i will show you a piece um which i've used the same sealing method with this sticker the sally sticker and um you can't see the the plastic at all i mean if you use tape you will be able to see it because it gives like a shiny border around the sticker, but um, this method will not. And for this Sally sticker, I didn't have to Mod Podge the sticker. I just, you know, st stuck the sticker onto the plastic sheet and just sprayed with the sealant and that was it. So um, that was actually pretty cool. So maybe you should test whether your stickers um, will stain with the, the um, sealant spray before you mod podge it. So anyway, um, that's it for this tutorial and um, I hope this video was helpful and um, if you guys have any questions just private message me so I can better answer your questions and that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys!